Hello everyone, this is Sherwin here from TechOS and today I'm going to be taking a look at the interface of, of Mac OS X Yosemite. So this is this software was released about a month ago now, so this is quite a late video, but apologies for that. I've had I've been quite busy with other things. So let's get straight into it. First of all we've got the design. So as you'll probably noticed, other Mac users um, who are familiar to the um, design of previous OS X software um, sort of versions will know that they, they will have be used to the sort of glossy dock. As you can see here, we've got, they've kind of, Apple have kind of got rid of that and they've replaced it with a sort of more simple, clean look. So as you can see, we've got a redesigned, redesigned sort of icons around the whole thing. And yeah, this so this brings it OS ten more in line with something like iOS seven, which and eight. So that's a nice change to sort of see. Um, and you'll notice that there's translucency. I mean, if I go ahead and change my desktop, as you can see it's a kind of blue theme at the moment. So if I go ahead and change my desktop background. And I go into here and choose the Yosemite one. You can see that top bar kind of this top bar up here kind of changes. If I put it into this one, you can see it changes as well. And if I put it to here, you can see it's got that kind of green effect. So let me just put it back to where it was before. I think it was this one. Oh, I can't find the one I was I had before, but I'll keep it as this. I think yeah, it probably was this actually. Anyway, so that's that. And if I open up a Finder window here. If I drag it down, as you can see, there's kind of translucency in the dock now. That was pr that was present previously, but this has been more, kind of more emphasised now. And if you see this kind of um, window side fill, as I move around the desktop, you probably can't see that well, but I can definitely tell here that the kind of sidebar um, adapts to the background. So that gives us a kind of like nice um, feel of context and depth, and um, extending on with the icons, as you can see, here, we've got these different folder icons as well as the pages, numbers, and keynote icons, and all the different uh, Apple apps and everything that have been redesigned. If I go to the launch pad, you can see that what they've done is it's pretty much the same thing. So they've got all the redesigned icons and it's much cleaner and kind of simpler and that's something that's very good in OS X Yosemite now one more thing I'm going to talk about in this video is something called markup now what markup does is if I create a new email and I do it to me, so if I do it to my email here and if I insert an image say this image over here let's insert that when you're creating an email or anything this works with preview or any other kind of program as long as it supports markup now this feature as you'll notice when I hover my, my mouse over you'll see this little arrow if I click here and I tap markup now what this comes, it opens a window, if I just move that into the centre, oh, can't really do that, but, well, so, if I move this into the centre, you can see I've got various options, so I can just draw, so I'll go ahead and draw an arrow, and as you see, markup is going to detect that I'm trying to draw an arrow, it's going to correct it for me, so there you go, it's drawn an arrow, and I can do various other options, such as bending the arrow, and I can make it longer, shorter, and change the angle and everything. So I'm going to talk about continuity. So if I click text, I can create, I can say answering a phone call on your map. So now if I just drag this whole thing and I just kind of move it this way, if I pop it here, you can see that. And if I click on it, I can choose the various different colours and so I just make that black as you can see I've got that if I wanted to do a as a shape so I can add a 
this thing I can add that there so I just want to move this box and put that around this sort of text box and I can kind of center it like that and make it as I want it if I want to do a speech bubble so what I can do is I don't there are in these shape things here you can see there's a speech bubble but if I want to do something with markup what I do if I want to pretend this guy is saying um, please answer the phone this is a joke I can draw a speech bubble like thing and as you can see markup doesn't always do it exactly how you want it to but if you do it clearly enough markup will create as you see as you saw that a sort of text um, speech bubble so I can now move that around and do various things with it so I can move it out like that I can move the this make this bigger or smaller I can change where it is so if I just move that there put this out a bit and move this as closer to his mouth like that I can double tap and I can go inside to this speech bubble and I can type so something like please answer so there yeah, that's something that you can also do now this is going to be useful if you've got sign if you got to sign say a PDF and email it to someone what you can do is if you go up here to this signature thing you can create a signature either by drawing on a piece of cam on a piece of paper and then sending it or and putting it in front of your eyesight camera so that you can um, so the Mac can see what you're doing and put that onto the computer but what I find easier is if you go onto trackpad and you click here I can do a random signature here so if I just do um, do just a random signature so like J Thomas or anything like that I've just done that as an example if I just do that what I can do is I just press any key what I've done is if I click done I just tap on that and that's now as a signature so I can sign this put it down in the corner there yeah so that's my signature on the thing so this kind of gets rid of the hassle of having to print this whole picture out sign it and then scan that and email that so this is a much easier way of doing it obviously you've got other options here I can do um, these different lines I've got my shape colors got my um, color fills and various other things and I've got my text format so now I can go ahead and click done I'll just do that and I'll be ready to Send this off. I'll just create a subject markup. Send that off, and there it is. It's going to be going and ready. So oh, I've got a problem with my mail server at the moment, so I'll try later. But anyway, that was a sort of look at markup. So now, if I want to go ahead and show you some other things, so if I go into the calendar. I'll just switch to a new month that's nice and clear. Um, let me just go to here. So what ca what they've done in calendar is they've made it a much refined thing, sort of interface. So they've got there's a streamlined toolbar up here, so you can see more of your console. I can go to the days, the weeks, the months, and even the years if I wanted to. Let me just stick with the months, and I've got a much cleaner interface. So that's something that's quite nice to have. Um, same applies for apps such as the notes app which I will now close and if I go into the maps app you'll see this is similar as well so let's just move up from there I don't really want to reveal my current location but if I just go here I can sort of zoom in and out as I would normally do in maps and as you can see that translucency is sort of inherited in maps as well so if I go up here and if I move to somewhere else um, let's go here you can probably not make out but there is certain translucency as you see if I move this bit of yellow thing if I move that up there you'll see that it kind of 
reflects that translucency, especially with this green bit up here. So that's something that's quite nice, and it that's more apparent if you're in satellite mode, obviously, because obviously because various reasons. So if I move over here, you can see that kind of translucency. So yeah, that's kind of something that's quite nice to see, all this sort of translucency throughout the whole system. Um, same as applied in messages and various all the different colour apps and when I reviewed keynote pages numbers in keynote you would have seen that translucency as well. Well actually no you wouldn't have because I had Mavericks then but now obviously those apps will be updated for it and same with iTunes or your album artwork you can see it as you're scrolling down and even if I open this you can see it's kind of reflecting the background this kind of window fill. So that's something quite nice to see. So yeah, that was a look at the interface in OS 10 Yosemite and markup slightly. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.